making the revenant was about man's relationship to the natural world, a world that we collectively felt in 2015 as the hottest year in recorded history. Our production needed to move to the southern tip of this planet just to be able to find snow. Climate change is real. It is happening right now. It is the most urgent threat facing our entire species. And, and we need to work collectively together and stop procrastinated, procrastinating. We need to support leaders around the world who, who do not speak for the big polluters of the big corporations, but who speak for all of humanity, for the indigenous people of the world, for the billions and billions of underprivileged people who will be most affected by this, for our children's children, and for those people out there whose voices have been drowned out by the politics of greed, I thank you all for this amazing award tonight. Let us not take this planet for granted. I do not take tonight for granted. Thank you so very much. Never compromise. What you're doing today will have an impact on the planet for thousands and thousands of years. And Homo sapiens. Let us live up to that name. We need wisdom to actually find the solution and then courage to back it. 76% of all greenhouse gases stem from energy production and use. That's why the use of fossil fuels, especially coal combustion, must be reduced as soon as possible. This means not only to shift to renewable energy sources, but also that residual emissions from agriculture, heavy industry, aviation and shipping need to be neutralized in the long term. Humans, unknowingly to them, warmed the earth delaying the onset of the next ice age. In the last few decades, we've blown past this safe zone way too fast for life today to adjust, as we continue to destroy the forests for animal agriculture and find destructive new ways of extracting fossil fuels, adding ever more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere.
ask you to please wake up and make the changes required possible. To do your best is no longer good enough. We must all do the seemingly impossible. And it's okay if you refuse to listen to me. I am, after all, just a 16-year-old schoolgirl from Sweden. But you cannot ignore the scientists, or the science, or the millions of school-striking ch school children who are school-striking for the right to a future. I beg you, please do not fail on this. Cybernetic intelligence will always be so the